Good morning. The anchorage really worked out last night. We slept like rocks. The rain was a nice, like, just gentle sound putting us to sleep. Today we're gonna start with exploring Stewart. Because we didn't get to see that much last night. One, two, three. Well, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. Stewart is really nice. Stewart has some really great public docks, um, and then it like comes up to this beautiful waterfront um, that has like nice restaurants and like other like nice amenities. It's really cool. Last night, this area in historic downtown Stewart was lit. There were so many people out having a good time, either having dinner and beers or enjoying the ice cream on the hot days here. It was pretty cool. There's also a theater right around here. So plenty to do in the evening. We've just been walking around for a few minutes and it looks like Stewart has a ton of parks. We're here in Memorial Park, which is beautiful. And we passed by a different park on the way. It's just really nice having all this green space, a lot of good sidewalks, tons of things to do. It's a really neat spot. is very friendly here in Stewart. There we've had maybe 20 people say good morning to us. Now this park right off the boardwalk and right off the water is called Flagler Park and it definitely would be a good place to spend an afternoon then you go to the bars and, and the restaurants and get a bite to eat listen to some live music they have live music every weekend I think Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday or at least Friday Saturday Saturday Friday Saturday Saturday Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, at the amphitheater over there. So it's just a great place to take your family and enjoy the day. I mean, today it's nice to finally have some sun. We got like practically zero solar energy the past two days. So it'll be nice to recharge a little bit on a cruise today. On top of the many positive things that Stewart has to offer, there's also a tram network here. And although we don't have time to check it out today, it sounds really nice and really convenient for boaters. Ollie, you getting hot? Getting hot, Ollie. Throw some frozen broccoli. Come on, let's go. Now, like we said, the anchors that pivots in right now is not on Navionics. The two that are on Navionics are back there, 
over the bridge, and then back there over the bridge, and then and tucked in a little bit. So those might be great too. This one is so cool because it's right next to the public docks on the historic downtown. And you can also bring your big boat in to the docks, I think for a few hours or for the day, just not overnight. And with that, that wraps up our time here in Stewart. We are gonna head back to Pivot so we can make it to our next destination on time. racing for the wake and sometimes they slow down and they're very courteous. That just makes my day whenever they slow down. Leaving Stewart and coming back into the intercoast, intracoastal and the inlet uh, here, there's just so many boats, it's crazy. And Stewart is the sailfish capital of the world, so a lot of people are going offshore to try to catch some sailfish. Not us though. I see them. going like 7.38 knots, Ooh. seven and a half knots. Timed it right. Yeah, we did time it right. Look how blue this water is. This is insane. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the brown water over there. We're not going over there. Yeah, brown, 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 brown run aground. <laughs> brown, brown, run aground. Jenna and Elliot start to frown. <laughs> uh, Dr. Seuss would be proud. I do most of the planning and trip planning for us and I kind of made a mistake today. So I thought that the trip to Vero from Sewers would take five hours. So actually a little bit less than five hours. So if we left at 11, we get there at four. Uh, plenty of time to check in and everything because it closed at five. But it actually takes seven hours. So we're not gonna rush it there. Uh, we're gonna get there when we get there. And if the tides are with us, then maybe we'll make it but it's not looking promising. So hopefully they let us grab a mooring after hours, but we'll see. And uh, to add on to all that, we're about to have a ton of rain, but Pivot looks really good with the rain from last night, so I'm hoping this rain continues to give her a little bit, little bit of a bath and remove some of this salt water. Looks like the rain has decided to skip right on over us, but it did cool it down a little bit. It's 83 today, so now it feels a little bit more like in the 70s. But I think we're gonna stay inside for a little bit. What do you wanna do, Ollie?
second half of our cruise today has been going pretty well. It hasn't really been all that eventful. We've been basically going in a straight line, but it's actually been pretty nice because there's not been a whole lot of boat traffic like there was in South Florida. As we've been moving up the coast, it's kind of calmed down a bit, which is really, really nice. It's just been a nice, nice day. We've had a great breeze and it's been coming on our back, which is nice, so fair winds and following seas. And um, yeah, we've had like cloud coverage, so we're probably not getting the best solar today, but you know, you win some, you lose some. We are just about half an hour out of Vera Beach in our final destination of the day. It's gonna be an interesting approach because Vera Beach City Marina has mooring balls and that's what we're going to. But whenever they're full, they ask you to raft up. So we're gonna be coming up to a boat that we don't know slowly and either tying to them or tying to the mooring ball and to them depending on the situation. So it's gonna be a little bit of a tough approach. There's not that much wind right now and the, the mooring field is super protected so it should be fine. But we're gonna go nice and slow. We're gonna go into the wind so we don't accidentally run into their boat. That would be not very courteous and not very nice. Uh, I'm gonna take over for driving. Jen's gonna get our fenders ready. We're gonna have a copious amount of fenders. It's gonna be great. The strategy here is go as slow as possible. Good amount of wind. We are idling and it's four and a half knots right now. Cozy. So we're looking for a green uh, trawler named Kedge, the number 47. Yeah, I hear you. Let's just see what happens when we get there. Let's see what it looks like. So beautiful back here. I think I see it out there. All right, bow thruster on. Hey, love. If it's that boat, yeah. I'm gonna go around the two sailboats aft and curve. We'll dig a long turn over, and it looks like the uh, we'll, we'll do the starboard side of our boat. It's a beautiful boat. What? What? A little windy. A little more windy than I was thinking it was going to be today. Hey Jen. What? I don't see any cleats like that it's going to be easy for you to tie to. So, so we might have to go to the mooring first. Try to get you a little bit closer. I think we need to get our bow line on before the stern line. More room? More room. All right, good. Now I'm gonna try to get as close as I can to you. All right, you just take your time. I can't get any closer, so you're gonna have to get it from there, or you're gonna have to let out more room. Good job. I think we are looking very good. I think we need another fender. Before you do that, what? I need another fender up here. I have it. I need one more up here. Never a dull moment. That was stressful. With this tug here, they didn't really have a lot of places we could kind of latch onto. Um, and there was, it was gusting kind of high right now, so it made it very tough. But we did it. We didn't bang into their boat. Uh, choice words might have been said between uh, first mate and captain, admiral and captain, but uh, it's all right. We did it.
We just met our neighbors, Krista, Roy, and their cat Mocha. It, uh, it was a little bit harder than what we had previously done in the past. One, we, our first time coming to this like mooring field, we tied up to a sailboat which had like visible cleats. Um, and then the second time, we attached to a mooring ball first and our boat buddies, Andy and Gwen, they attached to us and their sailboat. And so like it was two, um, like two people who were able to help each other. Um, our two boats who were able to like help and tie lines and catch lines and stuff like that. So it was a little bit more challenging because their um, cleats are inside these like holes um, and so you have to throw the line in and then tie it around it but since like we're a lot higher than them yeah since we're higher yeah like our window um, out of our salon like looks at their floor of their like fly bridge so we are quite a bit higher so it was just very challenging like docking I mean everything went well it did it not really gusty too yeah it was gusty oh yeah of course because now it's smooth <laughs> It's always how it goes, literally, every single time. So anyway, it was just, it was very challenging, um, but it just put more new experiences into our tool belt. Um, but yeah, so we are going to close out the vlog here because we're exhausted. We're gonna spend probably the next, we're gonna take out Ollie tonight, cook dinner, and spend the next several hours on our computers editing and getting stuff ready. So we hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you tomorrow whenever we have a little bit of work and play, more like boat chores kind of work and play in Vero Beach. Have a great night. Boring. Today we're gonna. It looks like next weekend there's a big event here, so this vlog should come out by then. Uh, so if you're planning on coming through here, check it out. Yeah, I'm hot and I'm hungry. Bye, DFJ. Yeah. Ah! You want a bath? Hell no.